What's going on Arizona sports fan family appreciate you guys for tuning in today What I want to talk about is the comments that Vance Joseph ended up saying in his final press conference Let's dive right into it everybody roll that intro All right, guys, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, today what I want to specifically talk about is Vance Joseph's most recent comments in his latest presser uh, pertaining to, you know, his future, right? In the future of the Arizona Cardinals and how we're going to look like in the 2023 season. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We are on the road to 11K. Please subscribe it up and join the community. Now, I also do have some social platforms for you to follow as well. I got a Twitter and Instagram and yes, a TikTok as well. Everything will be in the description below of this video. And one last thing I want to mention before we get started here is that we had multiple people reach out to me and say, hey, my Mike, when am I going to be doing my mock draft? Uh, we will be doing it once the offseason starts. Right now, we're just taking a look to see what big companies are basically mocking to the Arizona Cardinals for now. But once the offseason starts, that's when it's going to be a full go. All right, let's dive right into the most recent Vance Joseph comments. Now, I, I think these comments here are very telling, right? And I know we have a lot of skeptical Arizona Cardinal fans right now pertaining to, like, some people out there don't believe that Michael Bidwell is going to make the move, right? right? Firing Steve Keim and firing Cliff Kingsbury. One of the biggest reasons why is because they just signed a five-year extension. Now, we actually heard some comments from Vance Joseph saying that he actually received an extension as well. Now, it wasn't put out, you know, in blast like, you know, Cliff Kingsbury's and Steve Kimes were, but Vance Joseph came out and actually said he was actually given an extension as well. So, like, that's really crazy to me that, like, literally Michael Bidwell was basically handing out extensions once we had an 11-win season. It's absolutely crazy and blasphemy, at least in my mind. Like, it makes no sense. Like, whatever, right? But here is what I really want to talk about. Now, now, let's take a look at the most recent report, and it is from John Weinfist of ESPN, and this is what the tweet says. Cardinals defensive coordinator Vance Joseph Joseph said there have not been any reassurance that he'd be back next year and that he said that's okay. I'm not worried about that, he said. My question was to Joseph about him specifically, but it sounded like he was answering for the staff. So honestly, this is the week right here where, you know, I, I I truly believe that we're going to basically be getting a lot of the juicy information, right? Like Vance Joseph came out and said that he actually got an extension as well. Now, I don't know if I heard it correctly, if it was a two-year, three-year, but he received an extension this last offseason as well. So that's very telling that the Arizona Cardinals are going to, you know, at least the trail or at least towards moving off of everybody, right? Everybody that just got an extension, it seems like we're just going to be moving off from. And honestly, I truly think that that is the right direction for the Arizona Cardinals and what they should be doing because truthfully here is, man, we're a four-win team. Like, that's the truth of the nature. Now, this team, this staff is going to look absolutely different coming into the 2023 season, and I'm okay with that. I truly am okay with that. Now, the Arizona Cardinals here, we all know all the drama that's been happening, right? Sometimes it felt like every day, every other day, there was big breaking news coming out of the Arizona Cardinals camp because we just couldn't stay out of the headlines, and that's definitely something you need to fix internally, right? And the leader out there was Steve Kime. Now, obviously, Steve Kime's going to leave right now. There's reports saying that he is going to be let go at the end of the season, as well as Cliff Kingsbury. So, right now, we got four days away from Black Monday. We just need to get through the last game against the San Francisco 49ers, which, let's be honest, I don't think any Cardinal fan right now thinks that the Arizona Cardinals stands a snowy chance in hell to beat that 49er team. Even if they sit their starters, there's just a much better, well-coached team than the Arizona Cardinals are at this very moment. And it seems like we're just taking participation trophies, right? Getting, trying to get in the right direction. But honestly, we're a broken organization. We're a broken team. And the best way to fix it is start off from scratch. So let me know what you guys are thinking about, you know, Vance Joseph's most recent comments. Are Do you think that they're going to move off of this staff? Let me know in the comments below. If you don't think that they're going to move off from the staff because you don't think Michael Bidwell has the you know what I'm trying to say. Let me know in the comments below as well. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.